Texas. In the death of a baby boy, community activists calling for stiffer charges in the violent crash that claimed the child's young life. And WGN's Courtney Spinelli live outside public safety headquarters with more on their call to action. Courtney. Yeah, good evening. Eight days after a crash involving a stolen car that claimed the life of a six-month-old boy and two teens are charged with only misdemeanors accused for their role in the crash. Now, community activist Andrew Holmes calling a press conference here today to demand action from the state's attorney's office. You took that baby's life. You took the breath out of that baby. All because you want to joy ride and steal somebody's car. Outrage from community activists after a violent crash involving a stolen car on the west side claims the life of six-month-old Christian Uvidia and injures others in his family, including his mother. She has to close a casket. You all opened up a door and closed the door and got in that car and took off. Police say a stolen Hyundai crashed into a pickup truck at Washington and Costner on April 16th. We're stopping the video right before the impact out of respect for the victim's family. Six months. Six months. That baby could have been what we doing to help children. But now his loved ones are preparing to lay him to rest, a life that was just getting started. I don't know how much the price of the car was, but I'm sure it, it wasn't equivalent to the life of a child. Last week, Annalise Rivera telling WGN the baby was the light of their lives. A little boy who loved to sing and dance, now sharing this video she will cherish forever. <laughs> Witnesses say there were four people inside the stolen car. Police confirmed two were taken into custody, a 14 and 17 year old boy, both charged with misdemeanor criminal trespass to a vehicle. I mean, trespassing to a vehicle is like you give respect to that vehicle more than you give to this baby. Community activist Andrew Holmes calling the charges a quote slap on the wrist while demanding the state's attorney upgrade charges. But the investigation is still ongoing, according to police. Well, you certainly have to let the uh, law enforcement investigation play out. And it has been a bit of time here. This is a very serious matter. We asked attorney Joe Roddy about cases like this in general and possible next steps. While he's not involved in this, he says there are certainly questions to be asked of law enforcement and prosecutors. You look at the highest charge here, and that would be reckless homicide. And what is the sort of evidence that might support that? He says investigators would need to look at the facts of the case to see if there is any evidence to support a charge like that. You also need to look at another question is why are they only being charged with a misdemeanor criminal trespass to vehicle and not possibly possession of the stolen vehicle? Police also haven't said if either teen charged was the driver of the stolen car. Still, Roddy says one thing to keep in mind, if a person is charged with a misdemeanor and that case is closed by a plea or resolution, you can't charge them again with a higher class case involving the same circumstances due to the double jeopardy clause. So I think law enforcement and the state's attorney's office wants to make sure that they get this right. Uh, obviously the family, this is a horrific tragedy. Now, family says they want to raise awareness and push for accountability in this case so no other family has to endure the pain that they are currently going through. We have asked both CPD and the state's attorney's office whether the case has been sent to the state's attorney's office felony review unit. We have not heard back from either with that answer. Reporting live outside police headquarters, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.